Okay, so when equations 22-3 and 22-5 are substituted into equation 22-1, yung standard form natin, the differential equation will be satisfied. So, ganun nga yung nangyari. It will be satisfied. Magiging zero din siya. Solving the integration constant, uh, equation 22-3, so let's say, uh, let x is equals to x sub 1 to the right from its equilibrium position, yun yung uh, positive displacement, and b is equal to b1 directed to the right, and time is set to 0. So, yun yung mga initial. So, anong makukuha natin? For that equation, okay, so magiging x sub 1 is equal to b, okay, and sa velocity naman, ano yung makukuha natin? So magiging b sub 1 over omega n, yung magiging constant natin. Therefore, ang magiging equation natin will be this one. So, substituting the integrating constants, x is equal to b1 over omega n sine omega nt plus x sub 1 cosine omega nt. Okay, so that will be our sixth equation. Okay, so next is, let's talk about the sinusoidal sinusoidal so ano ba yung sinusoidal curve so yun yung makikita natin sa baba na parang alon alon so let's just say yung C yan yung magiging uh, amplitude o yung pinakamataas na value dun sa sin sinusoidal wave natin yun yung pinaka mataas na height okay so then let's have yung a as c cosine uh, phi and then yung b is equal to c cosine phi substituting yung values na yan dun sa equation natin previously yung may may ano my a sign plus b cosine okay so ito yung magiging kalalabasan x is equal to c cosine phi sine omega nt plus c sine phi cosine omega nt so from trigonometry so pwede nating gamitin to kasi kamukha siya no kahawig siya nito no so cosine sine sine cos so sin cos cosin so that is theta plus phi yung phi natin dito is the itinatawag natin na phase angle meaning kung ano yung magiging value nung x or displacement natin will depend on the phase angle okay so as you can see on the lower corner ito yung mga sinusoidal so may kita mo nagbavary yung height nya okay yung initial initial height nung wave natin okay depending on the inclination here dito sa bilog may kita mo may mga may rin siya na create na angle and that will correspond to the height that will start in the wave or the sinusoidal wave ngayon dahil dyan pwede nating sabihin na yung kaninang mahabang equation na a sine plus b cosine ay pwede na nating gawin na x is equal to c sine quantity of omega nt plus phi 
So we're in yung Omega NT is the angle. Yun yung ginawa nating theta. So Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared square root nun is yun yung c yung amplitude and then the phase angle phi is the inverse tangent of b over a ng angle natin as time passes by okay sa period of time so dito nag umpisa siya sa height na equivalent to c sa sin phi okay kasi wala pang period zero ngayon habang nagkakaroon ng time tumatakbo yung time so ang value na lang x mo ng height mo rito is c sine times the quantity omega and t plus phi okay so yung horizontal is measured as period okay the period of time so yung distance from crest to crest yung pinakamataas to pinakamataas is one cycle so one cycle tawag natin yan is tau so that is tau is equals to 2 pi divided by omega n yung natural frequency so we call that yung tau as period okay so yung tau natin can also be represented as 2 pi square root of m over k kasi nasa baba yung omega n so therefore pagbalik rin natin yung k over m going natin m over k and then finally we have the frequency so it's just the reciprocal babalik ta rin mo lang okay yung value ng period so kabalik ta ng period yung okay important points so pre vibration occurs when the motion is maintained by gravitational or elastic restoring force kagaya nung sa spring ano or yung sa gravity like yung sa pendulum the amplitude is the maximum displacement of the body so yun yung kinampit natin as the value of C yun yung highest displacement the period is the time required to complete one cycle so one cycle ibig sabihin nun is kapag yung motion mo is nag reach dun sa maximum to maximum so we call that as the period kung gaano kabilis yung pag vibrate no the frequency is the number of cycles completed per unit of time so we call this as hertz 1 hertz is 1 cycle per second only one position coordinate is needed to describe the location of one degree of freedom system. So far, yung na-discuss natin is one degree of freedom. Ibig sabihin ng one degree of freedom is isang direction lang yung ginagalaw mo. So, pag gumagalaw ka in x direction and y direction, so therefore that is two degrees and so on and so forth. So, pag maraming dimension yung paggalaw so mas mataas yung degrees of procedure for analysis so as in the case of block and spring the natural frequency omega n of a body or system of connected bodies having a single degree of freedom can be determined using the following procedure so ano na so una pre body diagram so kailangan maayos mo yung pre body diagram natin and then make sure that the body okay is located with respect to its equilibrium position okay, by using inertial coordinate q so meron tayong 
coordinate so pwedeng magkaroon siya ng ano inclined axis the acceleration of body's mass center ag or the body's angular acceleration alpha should have an assumed sense of directions which is in the positive direction of the position coordinate so mag assume ka ng positive direction usually yun yung unang direction okay equation of motion so apply tayo ng equation of motion usually that is the application of newton's law of motion summation of forces equals mass times acceleration and then yung kinematics naman is simply applying the tinatawag natin is standard form so yan meron na ulit yung q the q represents the direction of the displacement kung kaya siya tinawag na q kasi marami kasing klase ng movement sa sa dynamics you have yung translation rotation and then the plane motion but in our discussion we'll just be discussing yung um, mas simple which is yung translation and rotation okay example number one so determine the period of oscillation for the simple pendulum shown in the figure. The bulb has a mass m and is attached to a cord length l. Neglect the size of the bulb. So yung bulb natin is itong parang ball. Okay, so solution. So first, kailangan natin ng pre-body diagram. Ayan. So, ito yung sinasabi na Q coordinate natin. Saan ba yung mga possible na direction? So, this is parang magro-rotate siya. Although, hindi siya nag-rotate in full motion kasi swing lang yung nangyayari dito. Okay. So, as you can see in the pre-body diagram, we have tension ng string ng string weight ng body which is mg tapos pagka nagdraw ka ng line dito magkakaroon tayo ng angle of inclination between yung t saka yung yung weight tawagin natin siyang theta so ngayon magkakaroon tayo ng a sub n or yung normal acceleration saka yung a sub t or yung tangential acceleration so, ang motion kasi natin is gumagalaw siya in the tangential direction. Kasi nagsiswing siya. So, therefore, next is equation of motion. So, following the direction of the tangential motion, summation of forces tangential is equal to mass times acceleration. And then, syempre, from that, apply na natin yung kinematics. So, the tangential acceleration is the second derivative of the displacement S. Okay, so yun. Ito yun, ano? S. So, this is an arc. Pero, dahil <coughs> ang assumption natin dito is maliit lang siya. So, pwede natin siyang i-assume as uh, parang linear. No? So therefore, tawagin natin yung yung pag-swing niya dito. Yung acceleration niya, yung tangential is equals to s dot dot. So therefore, pwede nating sabihin na yung s natin is l theta. Okay, yun yung basic formula ng arc, di ba? Length times the angle so since second derivative siya tapos nagsiswing siya and then makikita mo na merong angle 
yung paggalaw ng swing. So therefore, acceleration tangential is L dot dot. Substitute natin sa equation 1. Okay, so ito yung makukuha natin. Which is theta dot dot plus G over L. Okay, kasi nag-cancel out yung M. So, G over L sine theta. Now, next is, since small displacement siya, sine theta is, pagka maliit lang yung angle mo, that is, uh, almost equal to the angle itself. This is also applicable sa tangent theta. Pagka maliit lang yung, yung angle theta mo, that is, equivalent to the angle itself. So, therefore, Excuse me. Magiging, magiging ano na lang tayo. Yung theta dot dot plus g over l sine theta equals 0. <coughs> so, yan na lang yung ma matitira. Gagawin natin siyang ano. Um, theta na lang. So, therefore, comparing it to the standard form, so, parang ano yun eh, match. Ima-match mo lang. So, theta dot dot is equivalent to x dot dot. So, therefore, yung g over l mo is your omega n squared. So, therefore, omega n is equal to square root of g over l. So, the period of time required for the valve to make one complete swing is therefore, eto. So, from the previous formula, tau is equal to 2 pi over omega n. So, therefore, equals to 2 pi square root of g over l. Okay, so, this problem naman is about a suspended spring. Okay, so, meron daw tayong spring na na stretch by 175 mm okay dahil do sa kanyang bigat yung 8 kilogram block if the block is displaced 100 mm downwards so ito yung parang initial displacement so iba pa yung 175 mm na meron na talagang ano stretch na stretch na yung spring natin by 175 dahil doon sa bigat niya. Okay, then, pagkakaroon din tayo ng downward velocity na 1.5 meter per second. So, ibig sabihin, downward is the positive direction. Kasi, yun yung initial displacement natin. So, pinapahanap. Determine the differential equation which describe the motion. Assume that positive displacement is downward. Yan. Kagaya nga nang sabi natin. Kasi yun yung first um, direction ng motion. Also, determine the position of the block when t is equals to 0 0.22 seconds of equation of motion. Solution. So, in our solution, for example, pre body diagram muna. So, makikita natin dyan na sa taas we have T equals the stiffness multiplied by Y plus YST. So, yung Y is yung first movement YST is the static deformation. So, ibig sabihin dahil siya dun sa mismong bigat. Okay. Kasi Meron bigat yung ating block. Okay, yung bigat ng block natin is mg. So, for the equation of motion, summation forces downward positive equals m times ay. So, positive yung mg minus yung k times y plus yst equals my dot dot 
but KYST is equals to MG so yun nga yung yung displacement na YST was caused by the the weight o yung, yung weight nga nung ating block so standard form in kinematics part y dot dot plus k over m times y equals 0 hence natural frequency omega n is equals square root of k over m so therefore yung stiffness natin is from this formula kyst equals mg so therefore mg over yst so that is 8 times 9.81 over 0.175 makukuha nating stiffness is 448.46 newton per meter therefore the natural frequency is 7.487 so it is unitless walang unit <coughs> then therefore using the standard form ito yung kalalabasan that is why that that plus the square of 7.487 times y equals 0 so that will be y dot dot plus 56.06 y equals 0 pero kailangan natin siyang bigyan ng solution what is the solution of this differential equation okay para mas solve natin yung pinapahanap <coughs> so recall natin eto ulit so si a sine omega nt plus b cosine omega nt so, magsasolve na naman tayo ng differential equation. Ayan. Tapos, kapag dinerivative natin yan, syempre, ito yung mangyayari. A omega n cosine. So, from sine, derivative mo yung magiging cosine. Derivative ng angle, omega n. Tapos, derivative mo yung cosine, magiging negative sine. Derivative ng angle, omega n. Tapos, so at t is equal to 0, initial, ito yung mga given natin. 0 0.1 meter displacement and yung velocity natin initial is 1.5 meter per second. So, we are going to use this to compute the, uh, yung tinatawag natin na integrating constant a and b. So, from equation 1 ito yung lalabas no? 0 0.1 equals a sin 0 so 0 yan plus b cosine 0 therefore b is equals to 0 0.1 from equation 2 substitute lang natin yung b gagawin natin 1.5 cosine 0 magiging a times omega n so sin 0 0 so therefore magtatrans ano lang tayo transpose lang then 1.5 over 7.487 is 0 0.22 0 0.2003 so that is uh, meter per second so bali yung b is meter okay then hence the value of y is equal to a sine omega nt plus b cosine omega nt so substitute lang natin Okay, ngayon, ito na yung magiging solution natin doon sa differential equation. And from here, makukumpute na natin yung position okay, ng ating uh, block. At 22, uh, 0.22 seconds, so uh, substitute lang. So that is 0 0.192 meters. So positive siya. So that is downward. And also, pagka nag-calculate kayo, dapat naka-radians tayo. Okay, kasi ibang sagot pag hindi naka-radians.